Mathematics, you know, it's kind of like a medieval torture device because even if you're the victim of it, you still have to concede that it's pretty ingenious, even though it might be tearing your arms off. Guys, it's good to speak to you all again, and today we're talking about whether or not you have a chance at all to get through an engineering degree if you're mathematically impaired, a numerate, a math pauper, if you're bad at maths, and we'll see what you can do to get around this difficulty or maybe even remove it. You know, I've never felt like I was great at maths and never reached a euphoric moment where I suddenly became great at it, but I know how to become better and even begin to enjoy it because I, like most engineering students, had to. And yes, in engineering there is a lot of maths, and I won't lie to you that they were some of the most difficult courses for me and most students, and I can't even begin to describe how depressing it felt when I'd leave a two hour calculus lecture, still trying to figure out what the hell happened in the first ten minutes. But I got through it, and today I'm going to tell you the tricks and tips I used to do it. Let's begin! Now the first step to becoming good at maths or pretty much anything is to develop a passion for it, or at the very least an appreciation. I mean really everything in modern society in some way has to thank mathematics for its existence, so go check out a documentary on a great mathematician, or read a book like Great Formulas Explained, because if you go into engineering thinking that maths is nothing more than a torture device, you will never be motivated to study it and you're going to have a bad time. Next guys, I want you to look at yourself and think about why you're bad at maths. Is it because you never really got it? Or because you've always been bad at it? Or maybe it's because you aren't that type of thinker? Well, all of these beliefs, all of these stories are right now what is holding you back. Your belief is really everything and changing your thoughts from I suck at maths to I currently suck at maths is the difference between dominating at life and mediocrity. You know, realistically, how much time have you spent every day studying maths? How much of your own free time have you spent this year watching online lectures? Well, if you're anything like I was, probably not one goddamn second, screw that shit. But seriously, talent in maths doesn't exist. It is a skill, it takes effort, and I knew people in engineering who failed the first semester, first year mathematics, which is really just a refresher of grade 10 maths. But the next year they studied a bit more and did well and managed to get their degree. I've known students who were 43 years old when they started studying and who didn't do higher maths in school, didn't remember any maths from school, but who are now engineers. Remove your own self-placed roadblocks and know that nothing in yourself is static and your maths ability might be even worse than my crippling social disorder right now, but that doesn't mean for a second that it always will. If you work on it often enough, in no time you will be a little less bad. Alright, so what would I recommend for you to do to become better at maths? Well, definitely go out and read an entire maths textbook from cover to cover. Don't do that. Maths textbooks are the most soul-sucking, disheartening, boring books that make the Black Bible look like a goddamn Dr. Seuss poem. So instead, hit up Khan Academy and start in the easy primary school maths section and build up from there. Because unless you got 100% in every maths exam you've taken since grade 1, you'll be missing some knowledge that you should know and you really want to fill those gaps before you proceed, otherwise you will struggle at every step. And I know that if you watch my videos by now, you're probably thinking that I have stocks in Khan Academy or something, because I always praise them, but they are the sole reason I made it through my maths courses. I learned more from their free videos than I did from my $200 maths textbook and my several thousand dollar university courses. They are that good. And if I had to pick particular areas of maths that you should master, I'd say first learn algebra, because you'll be working with it in pretty much every class, then dive into calculus and do your best to get to grips with it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and shout out to Charlie for requesting this video. It's definitely a topic that haunted me when I first started studying and I'll speak to you guys soon. Good luck out there.